my name is Mamir Jisa and today is my first YouTube video and I am going to be making a uh, turbocharger impeller in Fusion 360 and I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible for you guys. I know sometimes it looks a bit intimidating but it's not, it's very very simple and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how it's done. Um, before I start I would like to uh, thank all the frontline workers for doing a great job and I really do hope that you are keeping safe and keeping your distance. Um, yeah, so um, let's get this model done. All right, see you in a bit. New design, sketch, YZ plane, and we go to line, and we do line. Just give it the, the shape out, I'll show you in a minute. Just give it the rough shape because we're gonna revolve this. So we'll give this a 10, and we'll give this a 70. I'm using millimeters, guys, so um, give this a 10 as well. All right, and then we'll just trim that one out, and then we'll give it a three point arc, and we'll give it a value of 70. 70, let me just, yep, we'll give this a dimension of 80. Okay, that looks about right, I think. Okay, so we we'll do a revolve boss. Yeah, so, uh, Fusion already selected the uh, profile for you. So what you need to do now is select the axis, which is this axis here. It's going to be revolved around that line. So this is how it would look like. We'll go up here. We'll do a sketch and we'll select the top face. Obviously, we'll run the sketch on top of the um, the model. Okay. We'll do a three-point arc. Go from here. Roughly, we'll give it till here. And then we'll go and give it a value. Actually, before that, yeah, we'll give it a value. That's fine. We'll do here, we'll do 55. We'll give it the arc or the radius 55 as well okay that looks about right we'll do an offset of I want it to be thin from the top so I'll do it one point so negative 1.5 okay that gives me this value here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just link them together with a line so I'm just gonna create the profile the actual profile so I'm gonna come here Okay, that's done. Okay, so we've done this profile and we give it some uh, purpose, some dimensions, uh, values. Um, so we'll go, we'll finish the sketch. We'll go to offset plane. We'll go from the bottom. We do a negative. This is a, this thickness, this thickness here. It's 10 millimeter thickness. I want to do negative seven. So I want to go up seven millimeter and I want to still be in that thickness. But I want to do negative seven millimeter. We'll go up. So if you look here, the plane that we just offset plane was just done. It's right there. Okay, we do a sketch on that plane. Create a sketch and a line. Okay, we'll do a line from the center, the edge here, and then we'll do uh, give it a dimension. Dimension of 80. Well, I want it to be not 80. I want it to be 70, 78. Let's do a 78 because I want it to come in the draw in the um because this is going to be the chamfer. It's going to be two million two millimeter chamfer over here on the outside. So I want it to come in a little bit, and we do an offset of around. So I want the bottom thickness. Top thickness is 1.5. Bottom thickness is going to be 2.2. Okay. So we'll go up here, we'll link those points together, so so the profile take take place. Okay, so now the profile is there and it is looking good. Alright, so what we do now, the next step is lofting. So we're going to create a loft, which is here. I'm going to have it up on my toolbar. So I'm going to have a loft. And I'm going to select top one, 
top profile and then bottom profile so it will give you this cut in you know that looking thing obviously right now it's red so that means it's, a, it's actually going to cut I don't want it to cut I want it to join okay so once it joined I'm gonna go up to file 2 which is the bottom one the bottom profile which is profile 2 what you do is always have profile 2 down here and then go to directions not connected direction and then take off 0.5 so I want the takeoff to be 0.5 the takeoff weight is 0.5 okay so profile 2 which is the bottom of the blade it's going to be highlighted and then it's going to be put takeoff 0.5 okay guys Please don't forget that. The reason I put that, it gives it that scoopy looking thing. So it scoops. Okay, so we'll just click OK. And then we've got that blade. Okay, guys. I'm going up. You can have more, you can have it one millimeter of takeoff. It's up to you, but I prefer it to be just 0.5 millimeter. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a little, it's a little better in a way. Um, so we'll go to um, circular pattern and we'll do select the feature or create feature it's up here so we highlight the feature we object we highlight the actual feature down here in pattern type we we'll select feature and object will select the um, feature itself and on the axis we just select select the axis highlight it there and then click on that one on that circle there um, or you can even choose that blue line there if you guys can see it the blue line here you can choose that and it will still do the same thing because I want to revolve it around the center okay so we'll add let's say for 15 15 blades in fact I want to do actually 12 because it's too much okay so we have 12 blades we may be reduced we're gonna reduce them down a little bit later on after we've done the whole thing but for now we're just going to stay like that until we finish so what we do now is we go up to here and then we're going to just literally just cut around this blade so it takes these sharp edges and you not sharp edges but this ends here we're just going to cut them and give it a nice round profile from the side okay so we'll go to sketch we'll select that plane there and then we'll go to circle and we'll just add it in a random position make sure obviously we're going to give it dimension in a minute but for now I'm just going to cut for now so I'm going to do roughly up till here roughly up till here so I want to be sure that actually takes a bit of a chamfer down there as well with the circle so let's just make that Small and bigger. Okay, so that looks about right. Let's give it some dimensions. <clears throat> the circle is 100 and 137. Okay, roughly it's 137. That's fine. If we need to adjust it, we can just come and do the um, the dimensions. Fine. Uh, we do that 142, 145, 125. Okay, and we do. With that with that we do this 67 61 because obviously we don't want to move it yet we'll just leave it like this and we'll see how it looks like and then we can come in and just alter the um, the dimensions okay guys so now we'll go to revolve we we'll select the profile which is this one there and then the axis we we'll select the sorry guys this you can select that but it doesn't look good in a way so what I'm gonna select I'm gonna select that blue line there see that blue line there guys obviously if you want to see it properly you can just zoom out and then you'll come it doesn't zoom in or out it just stays there so it will just come over the uh, part and you can just select it and then click OK and then we get this impeller and the impeller looks all right in a way so let me just edit a few things and just edit and I want to go up a little bit so I'm gonna go 62 62 oh, actually make it 64 64 
and so 60 so add 3 millimeter here so we'll do 140 here and we'll leave that the same because obviously I want to see the chamfer there if it takes the chamfer off or not okay so it doesn't take a chamfer off it leaves it flat which is fine we can just do the chamfer manually it's not an issue but I want it to actually take the chamfer off so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make that circle bigger so 145 145 okay so you guys can play with this until it, you know you would look the right the right way you want it okay so give me the chamfer there it's too big of a chamfer okay okay so 145 i'm gonna make it 143 boom let's do this all right so give me a smaller chamfer and it gives me that nice profile there of the blades so it looks it looks about right i think it looks lovely it looks good I think so. How? Select here. Obviously, we make. We'll do 15. So it gives us. A f we'll do 15, and we'll just literally zoom in, zoom right in, and when you start dragging it, you will get that center point there. So drag it on top of the center point. It's very easy, very simple. Fusion made it so lovely and easy. So drag it on top of the center point. You can drag it back out, and you can see the center point there the white one there and you can just drag it over it and it'll just click or snap in place so we'll have this hole all the way through in fact I want to make it smaller I want to make it in so that looks about right right there okay so we do a bit of fillet around here okay guys so we'll get tidy it up a bit we don't want it to be too sharp uh, okay, fill it. I'm gonna give it a fillet of one point one millimeter. Let's see how that looks like. Yeah, that looks like a, about right. That looks all right. Actually, in fact, we'll just do edit, delete that, and we'll select this face. We'll select every edge that you want to fill it. You select it while you while before you put your um, dimensions in or the value in. You select it all because obviously they're all gonna be the same size fillet. So select them all, just like that. Okay, and then we add the value of one millimeter okay so that nicely rounds it all up okay so guys this is how it would look like at the end guys tell me what you think if you like the uh, part um the model if you like what i just did please subscribe share and like my channel thank you very much if you do and um yeah we'll see you very soon for another video all right